To enter inventory into the software, simply click on the inventory icon located at the top of the screen. This will open your inventory entry window, allowing you to select an item to begin entering inventory for. To select an item, you can type in the name of the item, enter the NDC, or simply scan the NDC using a barcode scanner. Now that the item appears on the screen, you'll see the quantity you currently have on hand, as well as the package size for that bottle, your retail price, and your current AWP price per tablet. If you need to make any changes to this item, you can simply click on the word drug and the drug information screen will appear, allowing you to make any changes you need to make and save your changes. Now to begin entering the inventory, the first question you must answer is how many packages you have received. What the software needs to know is how many of these pack sizes did you receive. So in this case, this item comes in a bottle of 100 tablets. How many bottles of 100 tablets did I receive? I can input that value into the field. If I was to remove an entire bottle, I can simply put a negative one so I can remove a negative bottle of 100. Your cost, again, it's your cost per package. So you want to calculate the cost if you purchase three or four of these bottles, your cost for each individual package. Your supplier. The software will come built with a list of current suppliers. You can always add or modify the supplier list. You can add a new supplier from the menu here, or you can view a more detailed database by going to File, Supplier. Next is your purchase order or invoice number located on the purchase order which you received. The date received, the drug expiration date located on the actual bottle, the lot number of the bottle, other fees. This field is used to determine if you had any other additional charge besides the cost, like a delivery fee or shipping fee. You can input that value of that fee into this field. Shelf location. The shelf location field is a field where you can input a value to allow the technician or pharmacist to know where in the pharmacy on your shelf is this item located. So you can input, for example, FM if this is a fast mover. A lot of pharmacies have a fast mover section where they can quickly go to that part of the shelf and select the item from there and fill it rather quickly. Unit quantity adjustment. Now this field, for example, will be used if you're inputting a partial quantity of a package. So for example, if this bottle was not a complete 100 tablets, but let's say 25, I would input a 25 instead of the one which I entered earlier in packages received. Now that all my fields are populated, I can select save and my inventory has been entered and I can continue entering the next item on the list. The reset icon at the bottom of the screen allows you to reset your package sold to zero as well as your quantity on hand to zero. This is a useful tool for a pharmacy that has been dispensing medications without having entered inventory. You can do a reset, go back to zero, and begin entering inventory the correct way. The close month button allows you to physically tell the software on what date of the month you wish to close that month. What it basically does is take a screenshot of every individual item in your inventory and what the quantity on hand was at the moment you closed the month. This will allow you to pull reports so you can know what your on hand quantity was at the end of a certain month. The physical icon allows you to use an inventory data collector such as the Optimus S which is basically a portable device you can use for data collection and entering inventory rather quickly. It basically captures your inventory on the device then transfers the data to the software. Now we're going to go over some of the reports that you can use as you enter your inventory. We'll click on the report menu at the top and we're going to change from prescription to inventory. The first report you see here on the screen physical inventory sheet 
basically allows you to display your current on-hand quantity on your active medications. So for example, right now we're viewing my current active drugs and what the current on-hand quantities are for these medications. Inventory receive report allows me to view inventory I've just entered into the software. So for example, the item we just entered earlier, I can select the date which I did the inventory entry and select either summary by month or a detailed transaction. This will show me in detail the exact inventory I just entered. The inventory monthly value report is the report you would use in conjunction with the close month feature. This report allows you to view on a monthly basis what your quantity on hand was at the end of every month as well as their value and cost value.